I would like to share a story about something. It's a true story about me. And it's a medical story. It happened to me a few years ago. And it starts with a Q-tip. I took a Q-tip one time. I was looking at it. I bought it for a cheap brand. And the tip of the cotton part came off. So I put it on and tightened another thing. Oh, that'd be all right, right? I stuck it in my ear because I, I get a lot of ear itch and stuff like that. And I stuck it in there and pulled it out. And the Q-tip was gone. That's part of the cotton. I couldn't get it out, so I went to the doctor. By that time, when I went to the doctor, it was all the way down in the ear or whatever, you know. And uh, they said, well, we need to send you a specialist and all that, right? So I didn't go to a specialist because it was too far. And uh, I've been, and I always put peroxide and probably uh, uh, alcohol, uh, that rubbing alcohol, I put it in there sometimes. For over two years, that thing was stuck in my ear. Two whole years it was. And it's hard to hear and all that kind of stuff. And finally with the peroxide and all that, mostly peroxide. And I went to the doctor and she said, oh, I can't uh, I, uh, send you somewhere, you know, all that stuff. And I went back and the nurse came in there and uh, she looked at it. She said, oh, yeah, I can get that out of there. Took a bottle of some kind of flu, uh, like warm water or whatever, put it in there and, <laughs> and it came out. And that was the doctor's nurse. The doctor didn't know how to do it. But the nurse did. See? Thumbs up to all the nurses, man. And a big thank you. Man, two years that was in my ear and none of the doctors knew how to get it out. They said you had to go to a specialist. And the nurse did it within five minutes. See? That's why you gotta love these nurses. I tell you. You know what I mean? 